Yo, what's going on guys? It's Creations, and I'm playing some Dark Souls 3. Now, I just got to the Abyss Watchers, and this is where everybody has their problems and it gets really hard. And I got stuck in this boss a lot. Like, right after this cutscene right here, I died, like, at least 30, 40 times. So, I just kind of put all the cutscenes together, and that's why you'll see a big difference when you get finished watching this. Oh, the cutscene is so dope, though. Like after this custom, you'll see like I have extra health, I have a person with me. It was really different. I couldn't stop dying. This dude was, oh, mm, he was hard. It was fun though. Look, he's coming after me now. <laughs> now the main thing you want to do for this is just backstab. Like out of the, um... Like, I had this guy with me, it really helped, but if you don't, you just backstab him and then do a power attack, like hold R2, right like when he's about to get up and get a lot of extra damage done. I did that for about this whole first part, it went by pretty fast. Now if you're not good at like dodging and rolling and shit, then you can just wait until the cursed one spawns, one of the red eyes, and he will kill him for you, basically. Like, there he comes right there, hitting him. But, he got his... But he decided to go for the other guy. But yeah, my little phantom over here, he keeps knocking him down too, so... I keep doing the power attack, and he already got him down to a quarter left. There are summon signs, like, all over the place in the beginning by the bonfire and shit. So if you can find one, I highly suggest it. It's like 5 in the morning right now, so I sound really tired. I just woke up. I couldn't fall back to sleep. <laughs> yeah, this is literally all we did. This is literally all you do right now. It's just, you dodge, you wait for him to come, you backstab, and you R2. Now, our phantom did die here, and then, oh my god. The cursed one decided to go after me. So, took away some points. You want to save as like many of the Estus flasks as you can, because the second part really does get gnarly. Oh, here we go. When this happened, I thought I killed him. I got so happy, so I like stopped the recording and shit. I didn't know there was a second part, so I ended up dying. <laughs> Oh, look at that flame. So, yeah, I thought you would get the sword after. I was so happy. I uploaded a video yesterday on how to kill a dude that I can <laughs> kill, but I was showing how you can get like the enemies to kill him, and I got a lot of views. I was not expecting for that, but I would do a voice tutorial on it, but I'm really not good at commentaries. But yeah, in the second part here, he does a lot more moves. When he does that spin move, you can go for it. It's the third move after he does like his little slash one. Now, there's one that's like really easy to tell when he's gonna do, it's when he jumps and does the lunge thing. And it was right here. Yeah, when he does that, it's perfect. Just go behind him, backstab. And as soon as he's about to get up, just R2. Then after that, you just wanna dodge, wait for it again, and... Yeah, I thought he was gonna do it right there, but... I'm watching the replay of me doing this. Oh, I messed up right over there. <laughs> but this boss is really easy. You can learn all of his moves and shit. It becomes really easy. I 
Now I suggest just waiting till he does either that spin move or that jumping move right there. I wouldn't want to attack him when he does any other ones unless you're like a pro at this game. But yeah, this is it's really all you have to do. It's not that complicated. If you have any fire resistance stuff, I suggest using it. Fire resistant does help a lot with this. I haven't tried yet, but I've seen people do it. But yeah, it's just patience, basically. And knowing how to roll. Now, if you do end up getting messed up like that, where you drop like half your health, just back away and... Just I think I had a ring on, too, that I got off of one of the souls. It was, um... The one that gives you 30 hit points every time you have successful hits. I didn't really help too much, but... I suggest not using his soul for by gaining your own souls. You need to buy the item off of guy that sits in the Lord of Cinders chair. He gives you really good weapons. Yeah, it's one of like the first bosses I've encountered in this game that is actually pretty difficult. The other one I had was that tree end thing. We had him in a nut sack. Recorded that on a live stream, so I don't really have that on my channel yet. I'll be going through the playthrough again probably because I actually really enjoy this game. But if this one's this hard, I'm so excited for the next ones. Because it was... Five seats of the Lord of Cinders in the Firelink Shrine. One of the dudes was sitting in one of the chairs. Maybe there's only four. I don't know, but... Hmm. Well, that big chair. Oh my god. What is that? The final boss or something? I haven't really followed up through all the Dark Souls. I'm in Dark Souls 2. I had a lot of fun with that, but never did Dark Souls 1. Yeah, he was almost dead here, so I didn't even bother doing the backstab again. I was just waiting until I had a chance and knifed him. Because every time he knifed him, it like, staggers him, so. I was so happy when I killed him right here. Well, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this helped, and good luck. <laughs>